All right, YouTube, here's how to change out the choke lever on an RMK700. This is a $3, 3 to $5 um, choke lever kit, uh, and I'm going to show you how you rebuild it here on the choke lever cable and assembly. So first thing you're going to do is take this nut off the front, and then you pull it back. There will also be... Uh, that guard there. So here's the assembly and this is what kind of threw me for a loop in reading through the forums on how to do it. I guess some people say that there's a screw here and I didn't see that. Um, anyway, if you take a, a little razor blade you can uh, just kind of press into this groove here along the back and after a little bit of just working it you know, to break up the seal, if you just gently pull on the cable and kind of pull back and forth you'll be able to pop it open like so. I've already taken this open and put it apart, but um, anyway, your uh, broken piece will likely be there and it might spring out, so be a little bit careful of that. So I'll take that and just set that aside. Now what you're gonna wanna do is take your new one next. And the important part here is to first put that on the cable like so. I left the spring in there. The spring's fine. Um, the uh, I actually have my new spring in there, so you should probably switch it out with the new one. If you notice, the grooves here um, are a little offset, so there's only one way that this can go on. So I'm just going to put the ball in there like so. And then the tricky part is just getting this uh, rectangular shape to go up into the housing here. So I'm just going to push in. All right, so I've got it just slightly set in there enough to where I can get that ball on and just push and then start pushing it now with it and it should just slide right up and in like so. Um, now you may want to put in some more, uh, I believe it's lithium grease that you can put in there to keep it nice and lubed up. Once you have it to that stage, now you're going to take your actual lever and the pin. Now be careful not to drop this pin down into the snowmobile chassis. So I'm going to kind of bring it up and over here. But this is pretty straightforward. Just take your choke lever and the pin and you're going to push it right up through there. And then you'll redirect it up through and put your pieces back on. And that's it. All right, so here I'm holding it with just a pair of needle nose pliers all the way out and extended. Just gonna slide that on there and then just work this pin into where, again, this is where it helps to have a second set of hands if you can get somebody. Okay, you also wanna make sure that you put the um, throttle, or the choke lever down towards this flat edge that's in the correct positioning to show that it's off you don't want to put it on upside down uh, which I almost did and then once you finally get the pin in on the one side you can simply press it in there all the way okay so that's with the uh, choke lever back on make sure it functions nicely now we're going to extend it take our piece here, put that back on, slide this up and through, like so, make sure it's nice and flush, take your cover nut and make sure it gets on nice and smoothly, these do strip easy so make sure you start screwing it on correctly.
Dio.